Hello, this is Big Boss Rescue Chief of Humane Emergency Animal Rescue. Welcome to our series, Animal Rescue Postmortem, where we analyze the good, the bad, and the ugly of animal rescues throughout the world. This is postmortem number 15. This video is a hit by car dog. I've got it up here to show you uh, what, what it's like to pick up a hit by car dog or injured dog in general. There's a couple of things in here that you need to see. It looks like this video was posted by an animal rescue unit, society, whatever. I'm not sure they, what they're doing. They should know by now how to properly move a dog. So I want to critique that part of the video. Let's just get rolling on this. Yeah, blood's coming out of his mouth. I sorry. The puppy's screaming and crying. Okay. He's emerging. Sorry about the audio there. Okay, so we don't know what, what the situation is here. We can see that we have hemorrhaging from the face to the mouth. We don't know exactly where. Uh, watch what's just about to happen here. There's a grimace by the dog. It's clearly in pain. And this. Okay, look at that. Okay. This is not how you pick up an injured dog. The dog needs to be slid onto a board that's designed for that specific purpose. And before it gets moved onto a board, it needs to be, let's watch this again, it needs to have a muzzle put on for the safety of the handler, the person who's going to be moving this dog, and for the dog's safety again. I remind everybody that if a dog has to be put in, if it can't be put into quarantine, what happens to it for rabies testing is you kill the animal, you cut its head off, and then you send it to the local health department so they can slice its brain up and test it for rabies. Yeah, I'm being graphic intentionally. All right? And they, sh they should know by now that uh, if, th if this was the actual society that went out and done this, they should ha know how to properly move an injured patient and package it up for transport. All right? The animal's not having any kind of compromised airway issues. All right? It's not having a compromised airway issue. There's, there's no damage to the jaw that we can see or facial injuries. There's no reason that a muzzle shouldn't be used in this situation. And then it should be put on like a mini spine board for a dog so that we don't cause any other injuries in the process of moving it. There is some serious pain on this dog or it wouldn't be reacting that way unless it's just doesn't like people in general. Okay, so I'll let it play out. Look down on the lower part of the screen. You'll see our email address. Email us there. If you want to send hate mail, look, all I can say is when you send hate mail, we save all of those for later so we can laugh at you. So if you want to send hate mail, go ahead. You'll entertain us because it doesn't bother us. We know what we're doing. We're pros. We've been doing it for a really long time here. Um, don't forget to go to our website. You'll see that come across the screen there. Go to our website. Sign up for our free newsletter. You'll get all of the notifications that the organization has, the news, our blogs that announce everything that's going on, new videos, new product reviews. So that's human and animal rescue equipment that is really geared towards, uh, the, vi the videos are geared towards animals. If you're a YouTuber, get on there, subscribe to the channel. Even more importantly, like the video, share the video on your social media, and encourage your friends to do the same thing because we need the financial support. All right, that's it. I'm out. Bye.